Well, hang on, he did say he would admit his mistakes and he got it wrong about the 10p tax. He did say that. Got to be fair. I tell you what, Anthony, your left-wing producer, he's desperate to read my new book. He's a raving trot, isn't he? Have you noticed? He's got the raving trot. That's slightly <laughs> different. That's slightly different. <laughs> him, and yeah. him and left-wing Laurie are now cuddling up for a photo. I don't know, there's some solidarity. Barack Obama will be in to sing a song in a bit. We will overcome or something, you know. Gordon Brown should have gone off to Hit the Road Jerk. Millwall Mark. And the, no, the title's Hit the Road Jack, isn't it? Hi, I'm John Gaunt. This is my brand new book, Gaunt is Best of British. Hey, Gaunty, leave the left-wing hippie alone. It's his right to fester and stink. Your remarks are soapist, says Stig of the Dump. This is Great Britain, not rubbish Britain. I really believe that. There's a lot wrong with Britain at the moment, but we're still a magnificent country, a magnificent nation, full of great people. So help me celebrate Great Britain in this book. These are my views, my personal views of what Britain is about. Now let's hear what other people think too. I think... They smile when the chips are down. I think that's it. British people, um, mm, they're very eccentric, <laughs> quite reserved, and um, I suppose they're quite quirky and witty. I like that one, very sarcastic. Well, in terms of luxury of character, uh, like tolerance and forbearance, like acceptance of other people's ways of life, good, real career. And I'd like to say to all the lads in the city, you're smart, you all went to university. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> Ask Hill, Blackburn Rovers, allotments, ever changing weather. Fucking beacons. Yeah, Very that, nice. that was really cool. And it was cool to get, that was my first time going there, and you kind of realise it's really different to the rest of England, and it's quite nice that there's this different sort of stuff to do, sort of different way of life, it's quite close by. Yeah. Yeah, cricket. Actually, I don't know why I'm wearing a football shirt, but uh, no. mm -hmm. England. Nice, kind of um, sunny day, sat outside, a few beers, a few mates, have a chat, watching some top quality sporting action. Anything else you'd like to know? I'm a bit of a star, yes. Take a trip to Elton Palace in South East, Nine, I believe. There, you'll see the true wealth of the Coutold family in all its splendour, and not only that, the banqueting hall with a wonderful hammer beam roof that was built for Henry VIII. Also enjoy another hammer beam roof at Hampton Court Palace as well. But if you really want to see a masterpiece, go to Middle Temple Hall, where the roof, which is 90 by 40 feet, right towards the most beautiful family hammer beam roof you'll see. Would you like to see dead bodies? Go to St Bride's Church in Fleet Street, and if you ask nicely down in the crypt, they will open the secret door, and there you will find the skeletons, the skulls, the fevers, the fevers, and everything that you. Well, that was their best of British. Now you've got to read my best of British. Don't forget, though, this is Great Britain, not rubbish Britain. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's about time they dropped the Mrs. Thatch line. They sound like Ben Elton on speed.